Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'm doing the, the daily tarot for all signs and that is every single sign in the Zodiac for December the 18th, 2021. Now keep in mind, all oh, timing is fluid, okay? So if it fails to resonate with you for December 17th, it can still resonate in the future. And I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason. So if you are watching this, it's definitely something that you need to hear, okay? So open up your heart and open up your mind, all right? Might be something you need to know. We're going to start with the Working Light Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and Amunra. What do we need to know? December 18th, 2021. Hope you guys all had a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, and blessed day today. All right, working like Oracle deck, what are you going to give us today? Now, you guys, I'm just going to let y'all know when I first start shuffling the cards, don't dim to fit in, flipped over. Unbound is what we got, though. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Unbound. All right. Just, just letting y'all know that came back again. I was definitely a sign. The Angel Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and I'm Moon Ra. What else do we need to know? December 18, 2021. All right. The Angel Oracle deck is adding no. No. Okay. So, whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Okay? Be positive and focus on unbinding from what your past is. All right? Got the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guys. What else do we need to know? December 18th. In my head, I keep wanting to say October 18th. Y'all, what's going on with that? That means something major will be happening by October. And that might be why it's a no. Okay? You might just need to wait a couple more months. Ten more months. Ancestor Spirit Oracle Day, what are you going to add for us today? All right, so the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck is adding. Let's see what it adds. Focus on children, pregnancy, birth, or adoption. Focus on children. All right. And the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck. What green man's wisdom do you want to add for us for December 18th, 2021? Hmm, maybe I'm going to get pregnant. No, I'm just joking. Because <laughs> October, honey, says come and focus on children. That's how long it takes. But I guess you have to have um, be with someone for that. <laughs> Ooh, what else do you want to add? Spirit of Nature Oracle deck, Green Man's Wisdom. What you want to add for the reading today? But you guys, just so you know, it takes 10 months to have a baby. So it could be from one of y'all out there, okay? That you might be getting pregnant and got a baby coming. Aspen, that's the first time we've gotten that car. Aspen, look how beautiful that is. You see that doorway in the rocks right there? I've never gotten that card. That's a beautiful card. Aspen, okay. Thank you, Spirit Guides. What else do you want to show us? This is the Affirmator's Tarot deck. Well, we got a flyer. It looks like it's a Pinnacles. It is. It's the Page of Pinnacles to-do list. Look at that. <laughs> page of Pinnacles. Da -da -da -da. Get your to-do list together. Get your list in order. What else do we need to know? Thank you, Spirit Guides. What else do we need to know? Look there, it looks like it was about to be another fly. I see that. So, the Affirmator's Tarot deck is adding to the reading. Another Pinnacles, two of Pinnacles. Try to balance. It's okay. Just stay balanced, stay focused. And Eight of Pinnacles. You got a big old wow. That's nothing but money, y'all. Money, money. Money. Okay, let's go get into this reading. Unbound. I'm going to have to go get me a massage. All day I was doing something, I popped my knee. Starting to hurt now. 108. Activation card. It is time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life. 
They are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you are ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soul made that have an expiry date. It could be about silence or chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is the life in which you free yourself from trauma of lives past. What old ways of being have an expiry date? When you name them, you claim them and they stop holding power over you. When acknowledging these old patterns, it is also important to acknowledge how they have served you up until now. For example, a soul pattern of playing small caused by a soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice would have served you by keeping you safe. In order to grow, you now need to soften by receiving and calling in support. It is time to unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer sustainable. I release all old soul stories, vows, contracts, and patterns that are no longer aligned with who I came here to be in the present time. I carry the lessons, growth, and gifts, but I no longer choose to live the same story. May I be unbound, unbound, forever unbound. Ooh, y'all see how it's stuck to me? All right, and no. And it's just plain and simple, no. Rethink your strategy. The answer to your question is no. You may gather additional information by asking another question surrounding this issue and drawing another card, but we have it, okay? Whatever you're working on, no, it's not the right time but you just gotta focus, all right? And the next card is focus on children. A blend of cultures, religions, and histories have merged to make Jamaica a country known for its magic, spirituality, and music. The distinct spirituality that emerged in Jamaica was a response to the harsh reality of slavery and displacement. Religion in Jamaica can combine African and Christian elements, have no separation between the divine and the earthly, and speak out against oppression. Above all, the importance of family shines through. Children are often cared for by the extended family and there are many traditions around pregnancy and birth. Spiritual traditions have evolved to help the people of Jamaica reclaim their ancestral connections while growing a proud and a unified culture identity. The ancestors speak. Babies, pregnancy, and children are being highlighted for you when this card appears. You may have been considering conceiving, fostering, or adopting a child. This card is giving you a heads up to let you know that there is a child who wants to come to you and your family. This child doesn't have to be your biological child. It could be a niece nephew, adopted child, stepchild, or foster child. The divinatory meaning. If you already have children or grandchildren, this card is a reminder for you to connect with them and spend time with them with your family. Children are a blessing. They really do heal people and bring family members together in a positive way. Look at the children in your life and be thankful for the amazing gift they are to you. If you have children who have passed away, this card confirms that they are safe happy and still around you. They love you very much. All right, and then we've got Aspen. Ninety-four. It's the first time I got this card, y'all. So we're gonna see what the green man's wisdom is. Where all are gathered, strength is strongest. Isn't that something? Children and now it's gathering with all. Okay. In the natural world, whenever individual species have come together, life has quickened and strengthened. Plants and trees have put down roots. Animals have colonized habitats and become stronger. Humans learn this very early on, whether from driving down a woolly mammoth in the hunt or in the creation of a vast construction, such, such as Stonehenge. Oh, that's what that is in the background. Okay. This kind of communal strength is seldom realized these days and selfish concerns isolate us from our fellows. We still need to help and support of others for our roots go down into a common soil and we can learn valuable lessons from the natural world. Our own perceived lack of ability quickly vanishes when we gather all our resources in one place as we discover our strengths, our riches, okay? And then we got all nothing to do but earth 
Pinnacles are of earth, they're grounding, okay? So we're going to start with the Page of Pinnacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. The Page of Pinnacles is excited about a new venture that could lead to great success and lots of future money. He's a dreamer, yes, but this isn't just tipsy boasting at the local dive bar. He's also a planner and a doer. You guys give me one second. Apologies. Had to blow my nose. Okay. The Page of Pentacles is excited about a new venture that could lead to great success and lots of future money. He's a dreamer, yes, but this isn't just tipsy boasting at the local dive bar. He's also a planner and a doer. Follow his lead and turn your spark of inspiration into actual, achievable steps towards your goals. While you're baby stepping, be sure to channel some of that inspired energy from the fun parts, like dreaming, into the not-so-fun parts, like learning Photoshop. It could be that this page is beginning a great new chapter, okay? And now we're going to, the affirmation. I magically turn my dreams into reality with the magically magical magic of to-do lists, okay? And then we've got the two of pinnacles where you're trying to balance and you can do it, okay? Just maintain a focus. There's an empty abandoned day planner out there somewhere and it's got your name on it. The do so discs ask you to maintain balance while juggling many different balls, duties, chainsaws. Do whatever you can to help keep your busy brain from scattering and manage your time with some good old fashioned to-do lists. In the face of this much responsibility, mundane tasks become just as important as the main events. Congrats on the Nobel Peace Prize, but did you put the laundry in the dryer? Here's the affirmation. I strive to maintain balance in my life by staying on top of my responsibilities. Complete crucial tasks of reading tarot cards. Check. Okay. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is another big goal in your binoculars. Money coming to you. Just stay focused and balanced. Looks like you have a big goal in your binoculars. The Eight of Pentacles says the best way to reach it is focus, discipline, and a supersized portion of determination. In other words, put some motivational jock rock on those headphones and start meat punching, board breaking, and whatever else gets you in the mood for all around ass kicking. Be it starting a new career or learning a new skill, you're committed to becoming the very best after version of you. And the universe is cheering you on. Just don't make it watch you drink raw eggs, okay? Here's the affirmation. I am a champion and I conquer everything I touch. Whoops, didn't mean to conquer that entire quiche. <laughs> Let's just get into this reading, you guys. There is something holding you back and you have got to release it. You have got to know that this is who you are becoming and you are becoming who you are. So no, don't live in the past. Stop living in the past. It's time for you to focus on love, focus on children, focus on growth, because you've got a lot of goals. You've got a lot of things that you want to accomplish. And the best way for you to accomplish them is to release old ways of being. If you want a fresh start, if you truly want to reach your goals, you have got to release what you thought it was or what you thought what you thought you were because you are becoming something so much more. And in order for you to reach that goal, in order for you to maintain balance, you have got to release all of the negativity. Okay. It is time to communicate with your family, communicate with your friends. That's how you get ideas. That's how you get more inspiration and more motivation. When you allow other people in, 
when you allow others to help you and to communicate, we are all in this together. We've got to realize that it is never just one person that can achieve the goals that you need to achieve. Even if you are trying to make money, guess what? You need people to buy into what you are doing, right? So you still need that support. And until you release the negativity that you're holding on to, you will stay exactly where you are. That no is coming in telling you, no, stop thinking that you can do the same thing over and over again and you will get a different result. It will never happen. And in order for you to grow, in order for you to be the person that you know that you are meant to be, you have got to release your old ways of being. You have got to grow and nurture the person that you are becoming. And once you do that, once you maintain your balance, get your life in order as far as writing things down, write affirmations down, put them on your window, put them on your mirror, put them everywhere so you can see them in your car, wherever you need them to be, put them there, okay? So that way you can get out of that old way and start moving on into the new way of what you know you want to be. And it's going to take work. Nothing comes easy. And if you truly want to grow and grow into the person that you know you're meant to be, you got to put that work in, baby. You got to put the work in. Because guess what? Ain't nothing going to come to you without putting in work. Okay? So get to work. Start writing things down. Start balancing what you know you need to do and just put the work in. Because I have, I have faith in you and I know you can do it. But you got to be the one to know you can do it. Okay? If you are unaware of what you're capable of, you're going to stay right in that past. That's why we got Unbound. And don't dim to fit in. Be you. Be you, the unique you that you know you want to be. Don't look to other people. Look within and you will see. Everything that you have in your binoculars will be right in your hand. Okay? Get to work. Thank you so much for coming to Lions Den Tarot. You guys, please follow me on Instagram. It's lions underscore den underscore tarot. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Camille in the Lions Den. Thank you so much for your support. You guys, Christmas special is only another week and a half. So if you want a Christmas reading, make sure that you contact me, okay? Again, thank you so much for your support and get to work.